Let's bring in Mike Krzyzewski, head coach. Coach, what happened? Yeah, we played poorly, and they played great, and they had uh, on that night the best player on the court, the kid McCollum, uh, uh, is really an outstanding player. But uh, you know, we cooperated by <laughs> not playing well, and I don't think that after Kelly got hurt, the next you know the three games we played, we never adjusted uh, offensively. Um, you know, the court became smaller because of his space, his our inability to space that floor. And uh, you know the teams we played Virginia Tech, Florida State, and <clears throat> Lehigh, and lost two of the games and never really were in sync offensively. And you know, Lehigh's well coached. They you know they had a, their best year ever, and congratulations to them. Those kids uh, played with. Uh, they were bold uh, throughout the whole game and you know, put themselves in a position where they were deserving to win. At what point do you say, uh-oh, we're in trouble here? No, I knew we were in trouble going into the game, Dan, uh, just because <clears throat> you know, I've, I coached at Army for five years, and we had some really good teams, and we beat teams that were had bigger names or you know bigger traditions. And... Uh, uh, once you get a winning team that has, you know, again, when they have a player like McCallum, he can play on any team in the United States. Uh, um, they're confident, you know. They they're 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 accustomed to winning, and so uh, they're not going to be happy to be there. They're they're going to want to take advantage of their moment, and you know, especially early on in the tournament, you have to be in that moment the same way, even. You know, with a program like ours, you know, with you know, which has had a lot of success, but with a team that's that's hurt, and we're not as good as some of those teams in the past. So, we just didn't, we weren't able to get into that moment, no matter what we did as a staff, and um, uh, and lost, you know, and you know, it's a, it's a tough loss to take. There's no question about that. Contrast winning a title and losing in the opening round. Well, I, you know, the elation of winning. I mean, you, there's you can lose at any time, but you can only win that one. I mean, there's there's no comparison. I mean, uh, the elation. I mean, we've won four national titles, and uh, that's just the best feeling ever. Because you know, only one coach, one staff, one team gets that. A lot of teams lose in the first round and second round. They lose throughout. But when you make it and play that sixth game and and win, you know you're you're in rarefied air. And uh, uh, so I mean, that's you know, in 37 years of coaching, you know, four seasons ended with a win. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing about coaching basketball. You know, unless you win the whole thing, you're going to lose. And uh, it's not like football. In college football, there are about 110 teams that compete in, in Division One A, and there are 35 bowl games. Yeah, that means 70 teams go to bowls, and 35 teams end with a win. In basketball, one team ends with a win, and obviously the NIT champion does too. But uh, uh, so it's always tough to take, you know, for a coach because it's an abrupt ending whenever it happens. It's Mike Shushevsky, Duke head coach, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Handicap: uh, What do you think will happen? Final Four wise, national championship. Well, I think the team, you know, that's played the best right now is Kentucky, and they they haven't been hampered by injuries or somebody not eligible. You know, I thought Syracuse and North Carolina are right there uh, with them, uh, but Mello being out to put – they, you know, Syracuse got past the first two games and played well in the second, especially in the second half, so they might be finding a groove with the new lineup. Uh, I think North Carolina, you know, with Marshall healthy, is the most talented and an experience because, you know, Kentucky still has the freshmen, even though they're not freshmen now. Uh, and 
you know, we'll see what happens if Marshall can play and if he does to what to what level. But you know, when you put Henson, Zeller, and Barnes on the court, and then Bullock, you have you have four guys who are six, seven, and above, and who are all good players. And then Marshall just really stirs the drink really well, you know, better than anybody in college basketball. Yeah, I like so. him a lot. I think he'll play in the NBA. Yeah, he'll he, no, he'll be a really good NBA player, and you know, um, you know, the, you know they're. There, there are still, you know, there's some great stories. Though. I think NC State from our conference is really p- playing well. And uh, um, yeah, I, I, Cincinnati has really put some things together. You After know, that I, fight against Xavier, and yeah. who would have thought they're both in the Sweet 16? Well, I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's a tremendous compliment to their coaching staffs and, and uh, uh, that they were able to right the ship and because that was that that could have just turned into disaster and lost seasons for both programs and here they both are uh, in the NCAA tournament in the Sweet 16. You know, uh, you know all the controversy that surrounded the Syracuse program and what Jim's been able to do, uh, Jim Beheim's been able to do, and you know winning 32 games and uh, putting himself in the Sweet 16. You know, the, those are survivor type of things that you know I admire in coaches uh, throughout the years when they're able to you know, be put in those tough situations and they uh, they 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 turn them around or they're able to survive them and uh, it makes them tougher you know and during this time of the year it's kind of like the Giants in football you know, th- th- everyone was you know throwing them under the bus and thinking of firing their coach and stuff like that. And they got tough. And you get into this tournament, you have to be tough. You know, you have to be tough-minded and and really together. And sometimes adversity, you know, can, can do that for you if if the leadership is, is uh, terrific. And obviously the, ter- uh, the leadership in those programs has been terrific. I know you got some downtime over the next couple of weeks. If you get really, really bored, I mean, you can always call in. You know, just uh, Mike from uh, from uh, from Duke. Can I use an alias or absolutely? Call in as Roy Williams if you want. Uh, I'll let Roy call. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, he's still he's still alive, so we'll have him on. But y- yeah, well, and he'll, he'll be talking about more pleasant things <laughs> instead of why did you lose to Lehigh? But. Uh, no, it, it's actually a busy time because you're you know, you're recruiting uh, at the end of the season with in college basketball. It, it's it's a time where things change. You know, staff can change, players. You know, who's leaving, who's graduating. You know, you know, player meetings, making sure that you get on to the next thing right away, and and then what is that next thing? You know, and that happens in in every program now. You know, 15 years ago, there wasn't that type of change every spring, but a little now, different now. It, it's a lot different, and um, you you have to anticipate it. Um, well. Uh, I would say congrats on the season. I don't know if you feel that way, but uh, always good to talk to you, and uh, thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski, Duke head coach.